Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. I just really want to thank you for being here and joining and supporting the channel uh, through views, likes, comments, etc. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, if you do enjoy this content, don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Let's have a look and see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> what's coming up for you okay let's start off with the four of wands energy uh, there could be a proposal of some kind a celebration of some kind or quite um, a, a, a festive energy around you in particular around the beginning of the month of august now the four of wands could be a celebration or a partnership happening or coming together with a fire sign so an aries a sagittarius or a leo it's traditionally seen as the marriage card uh, or long-term unions, de facto relationships, civil partnerships, engagements, uh, betrothals, etc. So um, if you are connected to someone in this romantic way, I feel as though uh, there's going to be increased or uh, better communication with this person because the King of Swords sits below. Now, this can also be you have more security because if you're coming up as the King of Swords, you're definitely feeling more secure in a partnership or relationship. Uh, you're feeling more stable, which I think is a follow on from last month. You're feeling more stable in the relationship and you're just feeling like there's direction, momentum and an increase in mental connectivity with yourself and this special person. This could, of course, be a contract that's coming together for some of you, okay? Anything involving legalities, paperwork, documentation, government organizations, and things of the like. The King of Swords is deeply educated, well-versed, well-educated, learned. So there could be a contract coming in around you. This might be something that you're waiting for. It might be from a past employer, or it could even be um, a past lover that's coming in around you and potentially wanting to contact you or make contact. Could be someone from your past, might be a Scorpio here. Um, you might have been married or connected to this person or once upon a time thought about getting married to them. They might be in touch with you as well. You do have the Nine of Swords, so I'm wondering if there is minor stresses, anxieties, or nervousness coming in around you here, Libra. Now, you are represented by the Swords, and you can see it's quite a, um, it's quite a dark energy, especially this middle column for some of you. The Nine of Swords with the Ten of Swords, I feel as though if there has been some sort of trauma or ongoing mental dysfunction within yourself or with another person in regards to your communication with them, I do feel like that end, that, that phase is ending. It really might drag on from mid-August to the end of August, but I do think for the most part to have the Nine and Ten come up around your mode of thinking, around the way you're communicating with other people, I do believe it essentially points to things coming to an end here. Um, but there could definitely be stresses and things keeping you up at night. Uh, you can see he's sort of facing the death card, so I do feel like the past is going to come back here, Libra, and it could be a little bit um, unsettling. Now, the past can come in many forms, but I feel like the fact that he sits with his back towards the marriage, I mean, it could even be around a marriage or a partnership that are engaging in these stresses, but the fact that he sits up and erect facing towards the death card, there's either secrets or things that you're holding back or harboring, secrets that you might be harboring from people that are important to you. This could be family members, this could be lovers, this could be someone you're involved with um, in a friendship or in a collaborative sense. It's someone important, but it's obviously eating you up a little bit inside because you're either harboring secrets or there might be skeletons that are coming out in the closet. I do want to say for some of you, you might receive some unsettling news about someone who's close to you. There could be shock revelations because the skeleton here can really symbolize secrets that have been harbored for quite some time, that have been suppressed, uh, that have been hidden from view. So there could be someone that you might be close to uh, and you feel it, okay? It could be quite an intuitive energy. You feel that mysteries are being unlocked here with the death card. But it can also symbolize something from the past, either a person coming back in. It could also be a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But the death card is also a card of, um, it is a card of loss and saying bye to something of your life. It could be a breakup, could be something that's, um, you're parting ways from something here uh, because it also welcomes life, okay? New opportunities, uh, new seeds, new things coming into your life. So massive transformation or metamorphosis is often associated with the death card, but it can be losses or grievances. It can also be someone from the past 
Um, you might have lost this person, whether they've died uh, or they've, uh, you've lost them from your life or you've lost contact with them. And you might find that in August, it's keeping you up at night. You might even be dreaming about this person. Uh, quite a metaphysical energy coming through here or a supernatural. Um, it might, as I said, it could be an unsettling energy, the fact that it keeps you up at night or that you can't stop thinking about this and it could be a major event the death card it can bring trauma but it can bring a major event in your life that has occurred or that will occur in the month of august maybe towards the middle of the month but there could be massive transformation and change or, or the past coming back in with the death card here or mysteries coming to light things starting to make sense and i do think you're cluing on to a lot of things uh, things are starting to make sense you've come up as the king of swords who's deeply observant has immense attention to detail, understanding, he has wit. And the fact that the King of Swords has come up here, I feel as though this might be you, whether you're male or female. And I think this is your mode of thinking about a situation. So you're grasping things, you're beginning to understand things on a much deeper level here. Building deeper connections, yes. Um, but I really feel like there's an important conversation that's taking place here with the King of Swords. It's been a long time coming. You've almost rehearsed this in your mind, Libra, or you've seen this happen you, through a premonition, through a dream, and it's actually going to happen the way you saw it. And this is intense. I mean, it's, it's spooky for some. But I feel like the way you had envisioned or the way you had planned something is going to occur or unravel exactly how you had thought it would or how you dreamt it would or how you intuitively sensed it would uh, but look i do feel as though the king of swords could be presenting you with something here this could be a presentation this could be a contract that's coming through um, this could be something that you're pitching in sales in the company you're working for it may just land you a lucrative deal or a union of some kind here a collaboration of some kind as well it could also be education teaching or absorbing you might be teaching someone around you they might be teaching you but there's there's important lessons that will be learnt in the month of august you do have the ten of swords so there is something that's changing for those that have been experiencing mild anxiety or depression or if you feel you've been in a dark place with not much guidance with not much light I, I do sense that that is about to change. Something will dawn on you. There's definitely shedding of old layers or you putting away your past um, for good, Libra. Okay, some of you, the past might come back, but for others, it's finally laying your past to rest. Okay, it's finally being able to move on from that. It's an old way of life dying. It's transitioning because with the 10, really, it essentially becomes the one, which is new beginnings, new ventures, new perspectives. And number one is, is a number of all, it's all about the self, the self journey, self ego, the self as a spiritual being as well. But it can also indicate betrayal, hurt or conflict. So someone's words could be hurtful, Libra, or your words could be hurtful to another, whether you're aware of it or not. But mysteries and things that come to light, there could possibly be shocking revelations about some someone in your family or something around you. Um shocking revelations or mysteries or skeletons in the closet everything comes to light that it's dawning okay so it might be that there's a message here that it's time to be truthful or to time it's time to ask for the truth from from a person that you know you sense might be doing something here um, and maybe that nine and ten is finally releasing releasing tensions releasing pain releasing trauma releasing the past that could be a major theme for a lot of you, particularly in the middle part of uh, August. Uh, but there is possibly a bit of a sea change happening for some of you. Some of you are yearning for massive changes here with the death card. You might have planned these changes or you're preempting um, these, these plans or these changes. There could be a part of you might feel unsettled because some of you do have big plans in the works here. Major transformation, new way of life, new jobs, new career, new partners. Um... And for the most part, I feel like some of you are still adapting. The Seven of Wands really tries to adapt. Uh, sometimes he feels resistant or defensive because he might feel like he's backed up so into a corner. So there might be a, a fire sign feeling like they're backed up, pressured, 
or there might be someone that's feeling very, very on the defensive. And this could even be you, Libra. You might be feeling like you're on the defensive for one reason or another. Um, if there is someone from your past coming back in, I don't feel as though you might welcome them with open arms. I think this is going to be met with resistance. Um, you might be upset or angry. You know, it's a quite an intense energy. One's rules, opposition, wrath, anger, um, fire, passion, lust. And in one way, I feel like the past won't be welcomed. Or at one point or another during the month of August, you're not open to the past. The Seven of Wands sits below the past. Um, but it can also be a lot of people's opinions, you know, especially about relationships or about the past, judgments. I almost feel like there's a reason why someone has withheld information from you because they didn't want to be seen a certain way. Or you've withheld information because you didn't want to be seen a certain way. And it's your way, it's your coping mechanism here because he's he's out on a limb here and he's the only person that can really protect himself. And this is possibly ego, fire can be ego. Um, and this is possibly you needing to or wanting to protect that part of you, Libra. And in one way, I feel with the death card and the seven of wands that this is resistance. Or there is something here that will come to light and you'll understand, okay, this is all about perception and understanding and wrapping your head around things with immense clarity. So I think August, there's going to be possibly epiphanies and you'll finally understand why they kept, why someone kept something from you or they'll finally understand why you kept this from them for so long. can also be massive changes that you could be resistant to, okay? You might not be welcoming in. Could be around collaborations and partnerships. But I think for the most part, the fact that you've come up with the King of Swords, you've got a pretty good wrap around things. Like, it's a bit of an all-rounded energy, Libra. So I feel like, despite what happens here, the King of Swords overpowers these other sword cards. So the power and the potential is there. And the birds, you know, it's liberation. It's, it's also messages. Okay, there's two birds figured in the cards here. Could be two distinct messages. Um two big bombshells i think for a lot of you actually um i do feel like there's a big news either from the past or from a declaration or it, it could be a past employer or it could be two massive bombshells coming in around you that it's going to you know throw a spanner in the works a little bit for a lot of you but i, I think you'll handle it with a lot of grace with a lot of maturity um, with a lot of understanding so there's definitely this it looks good and the way you'll present yourself in this situation looks favorable as well i will leave it at that though libra thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great month